What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We bring you the latest in a dose election that is holding today and is ongoing. So I want you to stay put as we bring you the latest in a dose election. All right, we have a, a, a trending news for you today, and the headline here reads. Voters scramble for cash as APC leaders allegedly share money. So there's a video clip of this. So I want to just stay put. I'm going to show you that a uh, video clip. And this is very baffling because um, under electoral laws, you are not allowed to engage in electoral malpractices. And the video I'm about to show you now, like, like the title read, these are APC leaders. They started it. You get, I hope you guys can remember the video I posted about um, APC distributing Ankara. You get me, Ankara clothing to women for, you know, for their PVCs. So I'm going to play this video now and then we'll be back with more analysis. Let me play the video from the beginning so that you see for yourself. So I'm going to play it again from the beginning again so that you see that very well. Alright guys, so as you can see, that is what is happening right now as we speak to you. Voters are being induced with money, they are being bribed to vote for APC as the election is on going. There have been reports of violence but not so much so far, you know. So, But we are bringing you the details as they occur. So please, I want you to sign up to this channel because we will be bringing you both videos, you get me, and news as they occur, you know today so guys what do you think about this this crime alone is punishable with disqualification now as i speak to you right now pdp leaders have been locked down in a hotel while some apc leaders are allowed to roam free example is what you've just witnessed now you can imagine a situation whereby voters that is why the united states the U.S. have slammed sanction on some of our politicians that happened to rig last year's 2019 election and Kogi and Bayosa election. They've slammed them with sanction. Oshomola is in that list. Ganduja is in, is in that list. The U.K. are planning to confiscate their assets, not just visa ban, but they are planning to confiscate their assets. And I pray the U.S. should also do that. They should also do that. So, guys... This is Nigeria for you, where impunity reigns supreme. So what do you guys uh, think? This is our politicians exploiting Af Nigerians, exploiting our gullibility, exploiting our stupidity. Because I blame these people. How I even wish that they would even take the money and still vote their conscience. Because from the look of things, some of these people will be will even go and vote according to how they were induced. They will go and do that. So this is very pathetic. This is a dope people. A dope people by now, they are supposed to wisen up. They are supposed to be more wiser because, one, 2016, Oshomole spoke very well about his, I mean, uh, Obaseki. He mentioned that Obaseki was the brain box behind his success. Though he did not allocate any budget, no money to Obaseki's office, Throughout the remaining, throughout the, the both four years, the first term and the second term, no money was allocated, but Obaseki made sure that Oshomole succeed. And economy of Edo that time was one of the best in Nigeria.
But today, what are we seeing? The same on Shomole is now, you know, promoting Ize Yamu that was a thief, that was a fake pastor, that was a cultist, that was a devil. Today, he is a saint. So what do you think? Godfatherism is a problem today in Nigeria and Africa. So I want you guys to share this video to your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and other social media. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button as we bring you latest news as they occur. Thank you very much. God bless you.